20th century, American corporations began outsourcing manufacturing to the cheap labor forces of China. With this rapid influx of industry, opportunities outside of agriculture became readily available. Chinese peasants flocked to these new jobs in the cities, leaving their agricultural work behind. This trend persists today. Over half of China's population now lives in urban areas. With prospects of wages three times as high in a city, agriculture has become a trade for the elderly, instead of China's newly educated youth. The majority of China's farmers are now over the age of 40. Even with increases in technology, an aging agricultural workforce is not sustainable. Adding to the problem is the social stigma that surrounds agriculture in Asia. In Chinese culture, white skin is desired as having tan skin shows that you are not wealthy. Although this problem is seldom acknowledged by the Chinese people, the government has begun to take action to incentivize farming as a profession through covering housing costs and pension, as well as subsidizing seeds and fertilizer. For the past three weeks, we have been working on Eden Organic Farm in Shijian Village. To our surprise, the majority of the farmers are women over the age of 40. There is a lack of young adults in this village, as they have all fled to the cities to earn higher wages. This prompted us to reflect and question the future of agriculture in China. If no one is interested in becoming farmers, who will provide the labor force when this generation dies? Traditionally, farming was an expected profession for many Chinese people. A lot of people lacked the necessary education to pursue another career. As this farmer said, farming was the only option for me. I went to school for two years and barely learned to write my name. In recent years, however, this has changed. Children are living rural, leaving rural villages after primary school to receive secondary and eventually university level education in hopes of getting high paying jobs in the city. Despite being farmers themselves, no one wants their child to become a farmer. The farmers, however, are not concerned about the future of agriculture. Many believe that improved technology will reduce the need for farmers, or that labor can be provided by failed students. But will these solutions provide the country with sustainable agriculture in the years to come? Although farming has been very prevalent in the history and culture of China, there is no longer much respect for the profession that allows the country and much of the world to live. Both children at the local school and boarding schools in the cities have high hopes for their futures, to leave rural China and get a high-paying job in the city. The children aspire to someday become doctors, teachers, and scientists. Despite a family history of farming, when the children were asked if they had ever considered farming as a profession, they laughed. How can this negative perception of farming be reversed? In light of China's continuing population boom, feeding the nation is going to be more of a struggle as the agricultural labor force diminishes. It may create a greater need for unsustainable industrial agricultural systems, which are large contributors to global health and environmental crisis. This problem is not limited to China. It is a global issue that has the potential to have a drastic impact on worldwide agricultural systems. The number of farmers in the United States has been decreasing since the Industrial Revolution of the mid-19th century when people began to move away from the agrarian lifestyle in favor of city life. Today, only 0.7% of the American labor force is involved in food production, and 40% of farmers are aged 55 or older. We need to bring the agrarian lifestyle back into the conscience of American society. At a minimum, increased acknowledgement of the problem, better financial compensation for farmers, and a higher respect for the profession will be necessary to combat this growing issue. One way to further this goal is to integrate farming into the public education curriculum so that future generations are more likely to consider agriculture as a profession. Another potential educational initiative is public and ag campaigns to encourage farming, additionally shifting subsidies away from large corporate farms and towards small independent farmers will help farming become a more financially viable occupation. By taking part in our food production, we can ensure its sustainability.